figureheads, Jeff with your board. We're here in the Mantis booth checking out the Mantis X. This is a training system that you can use on firearms, whether it be a pistol or a rifle. And uh, what we have is a module with sensors to analyze and track and record your movements during the process of firing. So pre-trigger pull, during the trigger pull, after the trigger pull. And what they'll do is they analyze what's happening and give you information uh, on what you're doing wrong and how you can fix it. Some key product attributes here um, are, are ways you can use it. This is really neat. You're using a SIG air gun. It's a CO2 powered pistol. This is the B226. Go check out the review on that. We're going to have that up soon. Um, and the reason they use this is when you pull the trigger, it's going to give you a more realistic movement to kind of simulate recoil of live firing. You can also use it for live firing and for dry firing. And within the software, there are modes to accommodate uh, any of those training regimes. Uh, so you can set it up for a pistol or a rifle. Use it however you like to. Uh, if you order it, it's going to come in this little kit. You go out on your iOS, iOS or Android device, download the free app, and they're going to update this periodically. Every month or two, there should be an update available and uh, link it via Bluetooth. And that is uh, how the data is collected and sent to the phone for analysis. You can keep track of how you're doing over time and follow the instructions that it gives you. You know, give you hints on what you're doing wrong and how you can correct it. Um, if you have a pistol that doesn't have a rail on it, these obviously have an integrated rail under the barrel. If it doesn't have that, like maybe you're shooting uh, an older block, you can get four plates. They got about a dozen different models of four plates for magazines where you actually, you know, secure the Mantis X device to the bottom for training. Um, let's see, you can get them at mantisx.com. You can go ask for it at your retail shop. I'm sure they wouldn't mind getting the dealer showed up, uh, signed up. You can order direct off their website. 150 bucks. Uh, this is not to replace having a real instructor analyze your uh, movements and your shooting technique. Uh, it's going to give you a head start, maybe, on the training. Uh, I can tell you, in, in my case, we're, we have got one of these waiting back in the office. And when we get back from the shop, I'll start training with it. My expectations are uh, it's going to be kind of humbling, I think, to, to see how many errors I induce into the shot. Um, and what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to take the information and data that's collected and I'm going to get, get together with Bob, one of the writers at the airport, who is a uh, NRA certified instructor. And we're going to go over the tape. And I think Bob's going to be excited to see that he can watch me shoot and tell me what he thinks is happening. But a lot of the mechanics of uh, shooting in the last second of trigger pull, you can speculate what's happening, but without a tool to actually make measure those forces, it, it is kind of speculation. So this is going to be real data for Bob to use to help me correct my shot and coach me more effectively. So I see individuals getting this. Um, you know, if you shoot for fun, that's fine. It'll make you more, um, more effective. Um, if you're a competitor, I can see, you know, I know a lot of competitors that do a lot of dry fire training. Uh, this would be very valuable for them. Uh, if you're an instructor, you run a shooting range, this could be a new extra tool to have in your bag to make you more effective at coaching your customers uh, to make them better. So go check it out, mantisx.com. And uh, you know, if this looks like something that's going to help you, and you know, chances are if you shoot a pistol or a rifle, it is, then uh, you maybe consider going and picking one up. Right, so this is the app, this is the interface here showing the results of your last shooting session. You took nine shots, your average score was 72.8. 100 is a perfect score, meaning that things locked in a vice never happens. Anything high 80s and above is, is actually very, very, very good. What we show here is the direction of movement of each of your shots. So you had some breaking down, you had some going up, and then some out to the outside a little bit. So trigger finger placement is probably pretty good, but you might have some issues here. So we have some possible causes. A lot of people that movement is caused by breaking their wrist down or pushing forward. So it explains what that means as well as how to correct the issue. Right. Awesome. Kind of built in. Yeah. If you wanted to go in and see shot by shot analysis, this is a shot by shot analysis. You can say, okay, what was my worst shot? What happened there? Which was the actual trace. Oh, wow. So the yellow is the trigger pull. That last quarter second before the shot goes off, you can see it really broke down a lot. Yeah. Which corresponds to probably this area right here. Okay. Yeah. So you can really analyze shot by shot what's dragging your score down and really focus on those core mechanics. The common way to train is to look at this screen. The biggest issue is going to be highlighted down here. 
here, and as well as the possible causes, and you go back and take another session, focus on that one thing. Rather than thinking about 10 things at once, focus on one thing at a time, you gain that muscle memory, and then you move on to the next thing to focus yeah, it's on. Yeah, awesome. Some of my classes. There's a history. Um, there's lots of different settings, different ways to use this thing. So can I set up different profiles on this? So like whenever I'm training, I log in as me, and you know, if TJ's doing some work, you know, he logs in as him, we get to keep our history separate? Right. Not yet, but there will be. Now, what typically, in that situation, a lot of people do is the app is free. So you can download it on your phone, use the sensor. So you can download it on his phone, use the sensor, and then you have your data separate. Okay. There is the ability to select which firearm you're using. You can say, well, today I'm shooting with a Glock. Tomorrow I'm shooting with a Beretta. You keep track by gun. How do I shoot with this versus that? But the ability to log into an account and save your data and transport that across devices is coming very nice. Um, so you're demonstrating this on pistols. Yep. Is there any applicability for like rifles? If I'm going to put it on a carbine and practice. Absolutely. So you go to the settings right here and you say, I want to shoot with a rifle. Ah, okay, right there. there you go. Yeah. And then you select live fire, dry fire. There's a live fire tool as well as the dry fire. We're using CO2 guns here today. If you're right handed or left handed, you can select that. For rifles, just like the mounting position, you know, what part of the rifle is on the AR platform or whatnot. And then you go back and you're good to go. I training. like it. I love that you're using these air pistols. Um, Sig recently sent us one of these P226s, so look for a review of that coming soon. We love those. Um, and, you know, maybe, maybe this is a good thing for people to pair together, you know. Check out that review. Go get the, the, the air gun, get the application so you can work on your trigger as well. Okay, anything else we need to know? I guess the, the overall objective was that we wanted people to be able to train with their gun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, simulator weapons or whatever else, are, they're good for certain things, but really the grip and the trigger are specific to you and your gun and that relationship right. that you have. So this is designed to go on any gun and work for live fire and dry fire. Yeah. Okay, when you design this, who is it designed for? I heard everything you said, and, and it's an individual, but do you see individuals purchasing this? Do you see like a shooting range or a, a trainer having this in their bag of tools? Class. Excellent point. So people say, well, I don't, I don't need to hire a instructor anymore. Well, that's not necessarily true because there are some other things that this does not do. It's not going to tell you about your stance or your side alignment or your side picture, whereas an instructor can help out with those sorts of things. A lot of instructors buy this actually to help them because there's some things that they can't see that happen so quickly. Um, you know, this particularly, they can't see that. Green is before the trigger engages, yellow is once the trigger pull starts, and then this is actually when it fires. Yeah, so these particular guns have a funky recoil pattern. Yeah. The yellow is a quarter second before that shot goes off, which corresponds to that trigger pull. And the green is kind of that last half second before that. So kind of as you're lining things up, how do you approach the shot? Cool. So anyway, to answer your other question, instructors are buying it, shooting ranges buy it a lot, individuals buy it, uh, law enforcement departments buy it, there's some military Excellent. applications as well. Okay, good. Um, please leave some comments. Uh, like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, we're all over the place. And that way you won't miss a deal with you. We're going to do in a month or two, once we've had this, used it, gotten together with an instructor to go to and watch everything. Um, um, let us know what questions you have. If we get to it quick, we can include those in review. So, uh, again, Jeff from Dead Car, here at Shot Show 2017 in the Mantis booth, the Mantis X. We'll see you in the range.